Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to show you on how to fill up the UK visa and application. So, before tayo mag-start guys, ipapakita ko muna yung sample ng working permit. So, ito po yung working permit dito sa Guernsey. So, immigration and nationality, state of Guernsey. So, this is bailiwick of Guernsey working permit. So, nandito nakalagay lahat guys yung reference number at saka yung ilang years yung visa mo. So, itong sample na to is 3 years po yung visa niya. So, date of issue. So, nakalagay din sa working permit yung complete name, surname, other names, at saka date of birth, gender, nationality, and document number. So, nakalagay din dito yung employer's name, employer's address, telephone number, and occupation. So, ito po yung sample guys na working permit. So, pag nakareceive na kayo nito, 99.9% makapunta na kayo ng Guernsey. Kasi nga ito talaga yung pinaka basic requirements here in Guernsey para makapagtrabaho po tayo dito. Yung kasama ng working permit guys is may attachment din ng uh, way waste kung paano po na ipaprocess yung UK visa. So, since we are crown independency, so, crown dependency Guernsey visa application. So, ito po yung um, ways kung paano po tayo makafill up ng UK visa application. So, work permit holder. So, just to follow lang po yung mga steps yan na nakalagay dito. So, select a visa category. Select a country to provide your biometrics. Check available biometric enrollment locations. Select a visa type. So, register an email. So, so sundin nyo lang po to guys. Tsaka... Doon po natin ma ano ma fill up yung UK visa application form. So itong dalawa guys, yung working permit niyo at saka yung itong pinapakita ko sa inyo is ipapadala po ito sa inyo personally. Original copy po ang marireceive niyo kasi nga kailangan po ito sa uh, sa VSF yung pagpaprisa pag mag, magpaprocess na po kayo magpa-appointment kailangan po nila ng original pero ang ipapasa lang naman is yung mga photocopy so guys ito na po yung itsura ng UK visas and application niyo po so this sample is uh, three years po ito so standard so, after ma-follow nyo yung steps ng working permit nyo na binigay na na-receive nyo, ito na yung parang summary niya na lalabas. Kasi mag-send mag sa'yo ng email yun. So, before tayo mag-start guys, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo na yung may dumating pala na isang kasamahan ko sa company na galing po siyang Dubai at nabanggit niya sa akin na Yung working permit niya is lumabas ng 3 days only na receive niya agad. So, hindi pala lahat ng working permit aabot ng 4 na weeks or 3 weeks. Kasi yung sa kanya 3 days lang. So, I was surprised. Tapos, nag-apply siya dito sa Guernsey. Sa lahat-lahat, kasama na yung working permit niya, yung UK visa, sa VFS at sa pati yung IELTS niya nasa 1 month and 2 weeks lang na na ano na process na niya lahat at ngayon nandito na po siya sa Guernsey so he is very lucky and I'm happy for him na uh, nandito na siya ngayon isa rin po siyang waiter sa company namin 
so let's start guys so UK visas and immigration standard this is a sample for three years UK visa kasi nga um, may, dito sa Guernsey mayroon tayong seasonal which is nine months mayroon tayong three years which is ito yung ipapakita ko sa inyo at mayroon din pong five years five years po na visa Unlike, pero yung sa akin guys, yung visa ko dito is 5 years. Kasi nga, ang tendency, pag 5 years yung visa mo dito sa Guernsey, um, pag mag 5 years ka na, I mean, yeah, um, mag-exam ka na ng UK Life or UK and Guernsey Life, um, you need to, un to take an exam. Tapos, uh, pag may pasa mo yun, um, magbabayad ka ng 2,300 pounds and that application is for resident na kung baga, ang nakalagay doon sa passport mo, remain to stay in Guernsey actually, nabanggit ko na to sa ibang vlog ko pero sa mga bago at saka hindi pa na nakakaalam so yun guys, after 5 years, mag-exam kayo ng UK and Guernsey Life na dapat may pasa mo yun and then, nag-fill up ka ng application for uh, remain to stay or for resident here in Guernsey. And aside from that guys, pag resident ka na dito sa, ano, sa Guernsey, pwede ka nang lumipat sa UK. Anywhere in UK, like Scotland, Manchester, uh, London, or uh, Northern Ireland, kahit saan sa UK pwede ka nang lumipat. And aside from that, um, pwede ka na rin mag-apply ng trabaho which is not related to your field. Like, example, kung ang trabaho mo dito sa Guernsey is bartender or waiter or receptionist or chef. Tapos, um, pag mayroon ka ng uh, resident permit or resident sa passport mo, um, pupunta ka ng Scotland. For example lang, pupunta ka ng Scotland, so magtatrabaho ko do ka doon ng caregiver, so pwede po siya. Or gust gusto mong lumipat sa London, magtrabaho ka as salesman, or magtrabaho ka as um, driver, or magtrabaho ka as um, um, tawag nito. Kahit anong trabaho guys, pwede ka nang mag-shift. Unlike sa mga visa natin ngayon, like itong sa 3 years, um, hindi, po, hindi po pwede tayong mag-apply ng ibang work. So, kung ang, ano mo, kung ang visa mo is for hospitality lang, so, tatapusin mo yung visa mo na hus under hospitality. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-apply ng ibang work. But, you can do part-time aside from your full-time. Okay, for example, um, you are working as a bartender here in Gansi. Tapos, um, gusto mo mag part-time as cashier sa mga shop or gusto mong um, like caregiver, pwede, niyan, uh, pwede po kayong mag part-time as caregiver din or kahit anong trabaho, basta na makumply mo yung, four, uh, I think, 35 hours per week, the same sa um, work mo. So, yun po ang advantage, guys, pag... Um, um, uh, nandito kayo sa Guernsey, pwede kayo makapag part-time. So, umpisahan na po natin guys, um, document checklist. So, this checklist shows the length and type of visa you have applied for. Ito yun. So, the documents you are providing in support of your application and what you need to do next. So, you must only sign this checklist when you go to your appointment. So, number one, category work permit for the bailiwick of Guernsey. So, nakalagay dito yung payment notification number. So, yung bayad pala ng ano guys, yung ng UK visa is 858 US dollars. So, babayaran nyo po ito through online. So, hindi po pwede ang cash. O, maghanda po kayo ng credit card. Kasi online po ito babayaran, i-enter nyo po yung card number and so forth and so forth. Tsaka yung application date, ito. So, nakalagay din po sa ating um, UK visa application, yung name of applicant. 
So, this is only a sample guys na ipapakita ko sa inyo. So, applicants, full name, date of birth, country of birth, nationality, passport travel document number, contact telephone number, and of course, your email and date submitted. So, gusto ko rin din pong idagdag guys na... Uh, for your information sa lahat po nang nag-apply dito sa Guernsey. So, kung ang, ang visa mo is uh, under hospitality, example, waiter kayo, or chef, or bartender, hindi ka pwedeng mag-apply sa ibang country. Yung visa mo is valid lang po siya sa Guernsey. Kasi nga, um, mag, lalo na sa ating mga kababayan, mga Pinoy na Um, gustong lumipat sa sa UK or like in Jersey so hindi po tayo pwedeng mag lum, hindi, <coughs> sorry hindi po tayo lum, pwedeng lumipat so yung visa natin is good for Guernsey only so next page guys number 2 is uh, documents you have agreed to include these documents with your application So, name of this name or description of documents. So, tick to confirm you are including these documents or official use only. So, yung of official use only guys, yung sa right side ng mga box, wag nyo po itong ititik kasi for official use only lang po to. So, ititik nyo lang po yung dito sa left side na box. Diyan po ang ititik nyo. So, the number one requirements is yung passport nyo passport and then evidence that you have permission to be in country you're applying for so yung third page guys ito na po yung pang number 3 na page so all the document must be in English translate document must be certified So, name of or ito po yung continuation sa, ano, yung sa page to. So, information about your visit. So, since you are, you have a working permit, so, yun po yung ititik nyo. Money or income savings, like, mga bank statement. Ito yung mga ano guys, dadalhin nyo uh, proof na dadalhin nyo doon sa appointment nyo, doon sa VFS. Yung money or kailangan nyo po ng bank statement or bank books or bank certification. So, ititik nyo po yan. And then, home address, uh, like your valid ID, yung mga, for example, nasa Pilipinas ka ngayon, yung social security, mga driving license, yung mga ID guys na mga valid. Yan yung mga supporting documents new and then evidence of assets i think hindi na to siya point hindi na to na kailangan so ito po yung pang 5 page guys na additional information so evidence of family members remain remaining in your home country while you travel so like um id sa mama mo or sa sister mo so ititik mo tong sa left side So, ang pang number 5 page, guys, is um, other documents. Use this section to tell us about any other documents you will be sending in with your application. So, tick if you are including these documents. So, like your um, mga valid ID, guys, ilalagay nyo dito. Name of the or description of documents like uh, police clearance, NBI, mga driving license. Um, at kung ano-ano pa yung like yung IELTS nyo yung working permit nyo yung kontrata so isusulat nyo po lahat dito guys sa blanko na yan tapos ititik nyo dito sa yung tick if you're including these documents so be sure guys na pag provide kayo ng mga additional information ulitin ko guys Like your valid IDs, police clearance, NBI, 
um, birth certificate, authenticated, or yung tinatawag natin na PSA, yung result ng IELTS nyo, yan, importante yan. Um, yung um, working permit nyo, yung kontrata nyo from, em from your employer. So, yan po yung mga supporting documents na sample po na binibigay ko. So, yung pang number 6 na page, guys, ito po yung ano niya, name or description of documents. Please tick the following boxes to confirm you understand the application process. So, ititik lang po nyo yan. So, the documents ticket and the checklist are all of the documents I wish to use to support my application. So, the second one. So, to the best of my knowledge and behalf, and uh, sorry, and believe the documents I have used to support my application are genuine. And yung number three, I understand that the commercial partner is not charged of making decision my application. So, ititik nyo lang po yan, guys. So, do not sign yung dito sa date, application, applicant name, or applicate, applicant signature. So, sa kanyo na po ito isa-sign, guys, kung mayroon na kayong VFS appointment. So, this is for official use only. So, yung pang number 7 natin na page, guys, is what to do next. Ano ba ang gagawin mo pag nakabayad ka na nito? Nakabayad ka ng 856 pounds. Ah, sorry, 856 US dollars. So, ano ba ang gagawin mo sa susunod? So, you must book and attend an appointment with our com commercial partner. So, your biometrics, fingerprints, and local and facial photo photograph will be taken during your appointment unless you're exempt. Applicant under 5 years old at the time of their appointment will only need a, face, a facial photograph taken. So, kailangan nyo pong uh, maghanap ng visa application center guys na under sa UK. So, pupunta po kayo, uh, mag, maghanap po kayo through online at magpapabook ng appointment. So, dadalhin nyo po lahat ang mga requirements nyo doon at saka um, maghanda na lang po kayo ng pera. Baka may babayaran kayo doon sa, sa, sa UK visa processing na yon kung saan man kayo magpabook. Like in Philippines, nasa Maka I remember nasa Makati po yun, VSF Visa Center. Nandun nila lahat yung mga Canada, New Zealand, Australia, um, UK. So, kasama na doon ng UK. So, uh, ipapakita po yun, yung appointment letter nyo. So, lahat ng, pero dapat uh, yung lahat ng documents nyo guys is nakaputokapi na. Lahat ng original copy. So, na bitbit nyo po. Kasi hahanapin, nyo, hahanapin po nila doon sa office. So, um, magbabiometrics po kayo doon at saka mag uh, photograph ID so mayroon namang mag assist sa inyo so walang problema so yun muna guys um, sana may natutunan kayo sa pinapakita ko kung uh, mayroon pa kayong mga questions mga, mga doubt na ano i-comment nyo lang po sa baba at saka itatry kong reply yan, ipapaliwanag sa inyo kung ano pa yung, yung pwede nyong matanong dyan. So, thank you so much guys for watching and hope to see you soon guys and good luck everyone. May God bless us all. Stay safe and um, kung bago pa lang po kayo sa kong channel, please don't forget to subscribe July Alvarado TV. And pakipindot na rin po ang ating notification bell para updated po tayo sa ating mga in-upload. Thank you so much guys. May God bless us all. Bye!